Hey, this is Blake Allen from R the Outdoorsman. I'm here to continue part two of our Power of a Rat Trap series, Small Game Trapping. And here I have a rat trap and a mouse trap. Here I'm here in our workshop today. Show you uh, stuff about it, the size comparison between a mouse trap and a rat trap, the names of the pieces of which I think we already talked about. And then I got a question on instructables. How do I staple it and spray paint it? Of which we'll go over today. So first I want to talk about the size comparison. Here's a rat trap. About seven and a half inches long. Width is about uh, three inches. And here's a mouse trap. It's about three inches long. And an inch and a half. What well, right there. And so you can see they're two completely different sizes. One's a lot, lot more powerful. And so here is one rat trap. And here's a pack of four mouse traps. And I'm going to show you here which one's bigger, four mouse traps or one rat trap. All the same brand. There you go. So which one's longer? The rat trap is longer than all four of them put together side by side. Now width wise, once again, they are the exact same size. Henceforth, this is four times bigger than the ordinary mouse trap. And height wise, it'll take eight mouse traps. I only got four here. It'll take eight of this to ink the same size of this one board. Henceforth the rat trap is much more powerful, bigger, and cooler than the rat trap. This is the uh, arm bar, the panel, the trigger, the kill bar, and the base of which we just talked about. Now I'm going to staple this because I got a question on instructables. How do I staple the rat trap? And he requested me to make a video, and so I am. Here are the staples I'm going to use. And I have a stapler right here with an air compressor. You see right here, here's the kill bar, and I'm just going to staple right below the kill bar right here. Three staples. Now you're like, oh, that's extraordinarily tall, and I'm going to clip those down here in a second. And now I'm going to drill a hole in between the T and the O so you can uh, hammer it or screw it into a tree into a board or into the ground. Here's the drill. You're going to T and the O or between the two springs right here. There you go. I'm also going to drill a hole right here in the corner so I can put paracord right there, tie it to paracord. There's that. Got two holes in there. So here's the staples. And the holes. Now I clip these down because that's too high. Your staples are too big or too small. Sometimes these are called teeth. In some states, this is illegal to have teeth on your trap. So henceforth, you want to check your local uh, law regulations before you go out and do this. I'll talk about if you can't have teeth on your traps. I'll talk about later how to make, like I call it, the bone cruncher. Smashes the bone in their neck or in their skull and kills them faster. So if you can't do that this you can do that there we go okay. we got three staples or teeth all right so now that you see the teeth the two holes i put in here one for paracord one for a screw or a nail let's 
set you can set this on a tree you can drill it to a tree or hammer it whatever uh, you put it onto another board to hold it down or you can just tie it to a stake or another tree using paracord or bank line or something strong enough to hold it of which i do the most all right i'm back now with my spray paint my westerium spray paint it's brown it's probably hard to see due to the shade right here i'm going to spray paint it right here i've chosen to put a piece of paper down right here so it doesn't ruin anything below it and so i'm going to spray paint it with this brown paint and the brown very good very good goes with the ground so it's good for fall which is when squirrel season is rabbit season and possum season so i'm going to spray paint it and then a few hours i'm going to flip it over and come back and spray paint the other side now about the kill bar i'm going to spray paint under the kill bar i'll show you how i did that so i lift this up i'm gonna break my fingernail See, there's a little opening in the trigger there, so um, I forgot to shake this. My bad. Yeah, shake the spray paint always before you do it. All right, here you go. Don't want to put this down gently. Oh, it just rolled off. Okay. This holding bar right there. We paint that. We spray paint the entire thing. We paint the sides. We can do that in a second too. There. We did. Get right there again. All right. So there you go. That's how I spray paint it. I'm going to turn it around in a few hours and spray paint the other side. Very simple. Just let let it dry. Turn it around, then spray paint it. And so, that's how I do it. Uh, thank you for that question I had down in the comment. I love it when people ask me questions, and so I can answer it and show them how to do that. And so that's how you spray paint it, staple it, uh, drill it, and such a like.